What's up family? This is your boy Ivan Hall. The credit king. Do you know the difference between fintech companies, and banks? Banking systems would catch us by surprise if we went back in time before technological advancements. Every day, more technological advancements emerge, resulting in new banking techniques, other than traditional banks. Fintech and fintech products, are used to support most traditional banking systems. Fintech is often considered a threat to the banking system, but the advantages outweigh the risks. Fintech refers to innovative technology that automates and enhances the delivery of financial services. It employs algorithms and specialized software on computers and smartphones to help consumers, company owners, and businesses manage their financial procedures, operations, and lives. The emergence of cryptocurrencies is another aspect of fintech. Fintech has evolved to provide more consumer-oriented services, and it is currently employed in a variety of industries, including retail banking, education, investment management, and non-profit organizations, to mention a few. Depositing checks with cell phones, money transfers, monitoring investments, asking for loans, and any other help that does not involve a human but employs technology are examples of fintech services. Others are as follows. GoFundMe, and Kickstarter are examples of crowdfunding services that allow app and internet users to give and receive money. Budgeting apps. Cryptocurrencies and digital cash. Smart connections that conduct contracts between vendors and purchasers automatically. Banking that is open to the public. InsureTech is a term used to describe a technology that strives to streamline and simplify the insurance sector. Consumers. B2B and B2C are increasingly turning to fintech services as a result of the trend toward greater information, mobile banking, decentralized access, and accurate analytics. What exactly are banks? These are financial institutions that are permitted to receive deposits and make loans from their consumers. Despite the fact that investment banks, retail banks, and corporate banks exist, they are all governed by the central bank or the national government. The significance of banks in economies cannot be overstated. Customers can conduct activities through several account kinds, including basic banking operations such as withdrawals, deposits, and bill payments, as well as earn interest on their investments, save money, and borrow money. Currency exchange, asset management, and safe deposit boxes are all services provided by banks. Fintech and banks have a lot in common. Both strive to provide clients with a unified financial experience. What's the difference between fintech versus banks you ask? Well, fintech is a phrase that refers to new technology that automates and enhances financial service delivery. On the other hand, banks are financial entities that are authorized to take deposits and make loans from their clients. While fintech startups strive to make the user experience as frictionless as possible through ease, functionality, personalization, and accessibility, banks are more concerned with security and risk management. Fintech has a greater market dispersion due to the utilization of technology trends and breakthroughs such as smartphones. Banks, on the other hand, have a narrow market dispersion. Fintech features organizational structures that are less resistant to trends, allowing for more innovation. Banks, on the other hand, have a rigid organizational structure that may limit the speed with which innovative improvements are implemented. Banks, unlike fintech startups, do not rely largely on technological breakthroughs. Banks seek consumers with established track records and high credit ratings, whereas fintech targets the unbankable, such as individuals with low credit scores. Collateral requirements in fintech are permissive and flexible. Banks, on the other hand, have stringent criteria for collateral. In summary, fintech is a phrase that refers to new technology that automates and enhances financial service delivery. It emphasizes ease, functionality, personalization and accessibility in order to provide a seamless consumer experience. As a consequence of the usage of technology trends and breakthroughs, it has a greater market distribution. On the other hand, banks are financial entities that are authorized to take deposits and make loans from their clients. As a result of their concentration on security and risk management, they have a limited market distribution. For more credit tips, credit hacks, and credit repair secrets make sure you subscribe to our channel and, go get that money.